the scoring in the fifth minute from a corner. Lee Chapman flicked on and Mark Chamberlain at the far post headed in. Barnsley fought back and in the 27th minute from a free kick, the visitors failed to clear the ball and Steve Agnew equalised from outside the box. It was a goal appreciated by most of the crowd and half of the players. For the next 20 minutes, the second division side dominated the game and could have taken the lead on several occasions. Just before half-time, a clash between ex-Wednesday player Roger Wilde and ex-Barnsley defender Larry May led to the Sheffield man being stretched off with a bad cut and concussion. The half-time score won all. Wednesday's winner came in the 75th minute, quarter of an hour after what now seems an inspired substitution. Sustained pressure from Wednesday led to a cross from skipper Mel Sterland and substitute David Hurst headed home a glorious winner. For the Barnsley lad who joined Wednesday just over a year ago for a quarter of a million pounds, a fairy tale return to Oakwell. Yeah, it's nice like to come back to Barnsley and uh, my local side, really, and, and to grab the winner. I mean, the fans here, the local fans, the Barnsley fans, are all saying, if anybody's going to score the winner, it'll be David Hurst. Hope they don't bring him on, and then you came on. Yeah, the fans, both sets of fans are great to me. To me. I've uh, got a little habit of getting in on the corners, you know, far post. I go there all the time. Because you're not a big chap. I mean, Wednesday got all these enormous fellows up front, <laughs> and yet you seem to get some very key headers in. Yeah, I think uh, that's the little bit of a plan we've got, you know. Stick me at the far post and hope it comes out. I saw Mel out on the right wing with a ball, and uh, when he, he whipped it in, which was a marvellous cross, uh, I could see that we're going to beat Paul Futcher. And I didn't know whether to do the diving header or wait for it to drop a little bit and try and volley it. And eventually I thought, go for it. And go for the glove. Just lunged at it and uh, it was perfect. Barnsley had high hopes that their sparkling cup form in the 5-2 win at West Ham would continue despite recent average league performances. For Sheffield Wednesday, it was a draw they would have liked to avoid, with South Yorkshire rivalry firing the Barnsley players from the kickoff. But the visitors drew first blood after some early attempts on goal. From the first corner of the game, winger Mark Chamberlain put Wednesday one up after some loose marking in the Barnsley penalty box. The Barnsley tried to hit back immediately. They created several chances to test Martin Hodge in the Wednesday goal. Barnsley always looked threatening in the first half, and after 27 minutes, they drew level. This firm shot from Steve Agnew, leaving Hodge stranded. And more chances came to the home side, but they went begging. This miss from Gwyn Thomas. It was a fiercely contested game, especially up front, with former Barnsley centre-half Larry May stretched off after falling awkwardly and injuring a shoulder. In the second half, Wednesday's defence looked decidedly shaky, with Roger Wilde missing out in front of goal. But the first division side hung on and exploited a poor clearance from defence. A surging run from Mel Sterland was met by another former Barnsley player, David Hurst, with a flying header in the 75th minute. The Barnsley will be kicking themselves for squandering a number of chances before the end. A miss from close range by centre-half Stuart Gray, who could have won the replay. Well, 